It's the biggest rivalry in rugby. South Africa versus New Zealand. The mighty Springboks against the mighty All Blacks. And we get to see it two weeks in a row. So here are some fun facts ahead of the second test in Cape Town. When the Springboks absolutely hammered the All Blacks last weekend by four points, they made it three wins in a row against the All Blacks. The first time since 2009. And if they win this weekend, they'll make it four in a row. I know. Quick maths, it's my thing. Anyway, the Springboks have never beaten the All Blacks four times in a row in the professional era, and they've only ever done it once before. And we're talking way back. I'm talking 1937 to 1949, where they won six in a row. I mean, does that even count? The last time these two teams met in Cape Town was back in 2017. The All Blacks won that day by one point. Oh, one point victories, eh? Anyway, the last time the Springboks beat the All Blacks in Cape Town was 2005. And the last five games played in the Mother City, the All Blacks have won four, the Springboks have won one. But none of them have been won at the DHL Stadium. They've never played there before. This will be their first time because all of the previous games were played at Newlands. Oh, I miss Newlands. My best friend, Irben Etzebeth, or Etzebig, or Elisabetti, will win his 126th cap this weekend against the All Blacks. He's now the second most capped Springbok of all time, sitting just one behind Victor Matfield, who played 127 games. But he won't be the most capped player on the field, at least not in the second half when Bowden Barrett comes on. He will win his 130th test cap for the All Blacks. Okay, prediction time. I have kept this one pretty short and sweet. The only reason is because I was going to do a little bit on how South Africa can win the rugby championship this weekend with two weeks to spare, which they can. But it kind of confused me and I think it'll confuse you too. Just know that they can win the rugby championship this weekend. Okay, predictions. You know what this means. It means that rugby will be the winner. But no, I'm going to throw it out there. I've just wore this just to throw you off the scent. But I'm going to go with a South Africa win by seven. Whoa. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and enjoy the game.